Hello everybody coming at you with all my might. It is Smite. How are you guys doing? What the heck are you doing today? I didn't think you were going to do that already. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, so we're out riding and uh, it just rained. And of course everything's wet, but you can't stop oh. a dual sporter. We want to be out. We wanted to ride all day. We had stuff going on. And we finally just got out, so. Yeah, out on the four stroke. Well, we only have one two stroke now, so it's not like that. Whoa, downshifted a little too much. So we just wanted to get out and ride, and uh, <laughs> and uh, there's there's rabbits everywhere. Yeah, there's just a rabbit just ran in there. Ah. Uh, yeah, and my tire's not the greatest on the back here, so I do a little slipping and sliding with it. I got a brand new tire, but I don't want to put it on. I want to try to get as many miles out of this thing as I can. They're only 39 bucks, but... I don't trust the front end on this thing. <laughs> no, I don't have a problem with the front end. Hold on. Um... But I did sell, Jeez. dang it, I did sell my 125. Yep, it's gone. Um, and it, uh, I guess a lot of people aren't getting it from the video that it was rebuilt. I mean, if you look, I show the piston and it uh, has the big melt marks in it. So I thought I thought people would, would got that, but um, I yeah, guess I, I need to be a little more descriptive in the description but yeah when he went out and started it that's actually that, after the rebuild yeah that was that's it's been rebuilt out at that point and um i sold it the day i got my motorcycle license i now officially have my motorcycle license my permit is stamped i passed the motorcycle safety course and then on the same day i ran my car off to the road so <laughs> yeah I passed the motorcycle safety course and then wrecked my car. Well, not really wrecked it. Technically, Whoa. you still wrecked it. Jeez. Why did you gas it on a bridge? Well, because it's fun. <clears throat> well, what is happening is I went to check my... Did he get a fish? Richard! I looked like he had one on. Alright, so what was I saying? Uh, you uh, what okay, off the road. So, um... I was coming down a back road, and I'm going, and I looked down, I filled my pocket, and I was missing something, either my wallet or my phone. So I didn't, I was, I looked down periodically, and I was coming around a turn. I looked up, and uh, the front tire went off the side of the road, and it started sucking me over. I turned the wheel real quick, and... I slammed on the brakes so the tires, all of the tires just locked up. I don't have ABS. And I just skidded off the side of the road, went off the bank. Um, then I skidded. My rear end hit a tree. And uh, I, uh, I just came to a stop, buried the front end of the frame buried it all the way to the frame, the front end, so I couldn't get it out, and um, I called AAA, well actually, I, there was a guy, I called my mom the first thing I did, I was flipping out, yeah, I was out riding, and uh, yeah, I was so stressed out, and that's the first thing that's ever happened to me, so I, I was scared, and then I'm like, ah, crap, I don't want my insurance to go up because well, obviously I was being stupid and not paying attention. So, um, there's a guy pulled over, pulled over, and then, then another van pulled up, and then look, just sitting there, I'm like, well, can you help me out? Do you got a chain? But I, being in my inexperience, there's no tow hooks on a cobalt where, whatsoever. At least there's none on mine. So I didn't know where to hook it up, and I didn't want to mess the pla the fairing, the, not, they're not fairings, all the panels up and whatnot. So 
Well, he's like, well, I don't want to be held liable if I break something, so he didn't want to hook up to it. And it's a good thing, too, because I don't think he knew what he was doing. Because, yeah. Um, so, and then the guy, my, my car was off the road far enough. A guy in a minivan is like, well, where do you live? I'll take you home. I'm like, I only live like two miles away from here. So, I hopped in his minivan and he, he took me home and I called AAA. And they were supposed to have a, a place call me, but they didn't end up calling me. And so I'm like, well, I... I don't know what to do and I want to get that out and right uh, during this whole entire time my neighbor had a guy come up to buy my bike <laughs> so I'm, I'm watching the phone and watching him he's uh he's going through my bike and whatnot and then he's like oh can I take it out I'm like sure truck coming yeah I see so he takes it out runs it down the road it comes back and we're talking for a while the phone never went off and so I'm sitting there, I sold the, I sold the guy my bike. He ended up buying it, so. And then, then when I'm selling the bike, the bike's already loaded, my dad pulls in, dad pulls in. And then um, my buddy John was with him riding, and he had a. He just bought his bike. Yeah, just bought a brand new bike. Well, brand new to him, obviously, but. Uh, yeah, 09 uh, XR650L. Yeah, and <clears throat> pardon me. We came up to. He had a uh, like a SUV. He was like, "Well, let's let's go see if we can pull your car out." And I'm like, "Oh, all right." And we go down there, and the dad dad knew where to tie it up, so we pulled it. I got in the car, we pulled it back, got the front unburied. It started actually sliding down over the hill. They have a squirrel in their house. I just watched a squirrel climb, climb up in their house. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, where was I talking about? The car. Oh, yeah. We got the fr on front We got the up. front. I mean, it was buried to the frame. We got that pulled out, and we hooked up on the front and just pulled it right out onto the road. It was pretty easy. And then I got back, and I'm like, okay, well, the mom's like, well, the tow truck company called you. And it was not the original one the guy on the phone told me it was going to be. So I'm like, all right, well, I called them. And I'm like, did you get a call for uh, to yank a cobalt out? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, we got it out, so we won't be needing you. He's like, all right. And then, like half an hour later, the guy, um, guy calls and he's like, hey, I went all the way down the road and I didn't see your car. I'm like, well, we already called and canceled the tow truck. He's like, well, thanks. And I'm like, well, it's not my fault. I mean, they didn't really, they didn't call me to, uh, they didn't call the... Somebody's call having phone. some fun over here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at big old black marks. That's my DR. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was all an adventure one day. I got, I got my motorcycle license and I got in an accident and then I... Um, sold the YZ. Sold my bike and then I went to... Uh, Capture the flag, play capture the flag. And then hyper extended my knee. I was limping for a while. <laughs> uh, occasionally, at like a few days after that, I would be just walking and my knee would just give out. That was fun. But, you know, uh, <laughs> I went to jump over a bush. Yeah, it was kind of bad. Kind of dumb, but it was a lot of fun. So that was a busy day. Crazy, all, everything happened all at once. Of course, I was still hyped up from running off the road. I mean, I came so close to hitting the tree head on. I, I thought it was over for me right there. I'm like, well, yeah. And then, of course, I was kicking myself because I passed my motorcycle safety course. Did pretty good on it. And I can't even drive a car. <laughs> uh get distracted way too it i mean you, you really think about it i mean how easily how quick stuff really happens and we don't really we just blow, brush it off like it's everything everyday stuff like going 40 miles an hour in a car i mean just 40 you're actually going pretty fast it takes a while to stop you know just a lot of things that we never really think of Yep, not until they happen to you. Yeah, I'm like, every day, people are distracted driving. 
I mean, you're t if you're, you're, all it takes is a split second. That's all, I looked down for a split second and I was already off the road. That's all it took. I mean, it really opened my eyes to that. I don't think people really realize that. So, just be careful when you're riding on the bike and, you know, in the cage, too. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, though, people in cages, they don't, uh, if they don't ride bikes, it's even worse because they get distracted. I mean, I don't know how many people I've passed texting. They're all over the road and they're texting, you know, and you're like, okay, I'm going to go around this guy. Then you get up beside them and they're just texting away. They don't even know, they have no clue you're even beside them until you beat the horn or something and then they, they look over like oh there's somebody there they had no clue especially with these things they're quiet they're yeah. not real loud so they don't even know you're even beside them half the time so and another thing is is like i was just driving down the highway and it was right on it was a busy section uh, down in westport and i'm coming off and i'm on the one lane because i wasn't gonna get, i was in the right lane and that, that was right where the line was coming up and it was merging. And they have a yield sign. And the girl, the line, lane ends and the girl's just like getting right over me. I had to flip on my turn saying they'll get over real quick. Because the girl was on rough run right into me. She didn't yield or anything. People don't yield or pay attention. It's like, come on. So, it's just people in general need to start paying attention more. Of course, everybody, everybody's gone through this rant, so you know. <laughs> I love doing that. That's Alan's. Alan? Yeah, that's David Allen's uh, oh. un uncle. Oh. So that's so that's my rant. Um, I'm pretty sure. Look at there. Look at all the. I, you probably can't see it in the GoPro, but there's like one deer standing next to the woods, and I know a lot of people see deer, but. I, I don't see. Uh, I don't see. There's, them. there's the deer standing next to the woods right there, walking across. It's running now. Oh yeah, I see it. A lot of people. Um, yeah, it's too far away. We live out here, so we see deer all the time. And I know a lot of people that live in the country see deer all the time. But for those of you that live in, uh, like Philadelphia or Reading area and all that, that don't see deer all the time, um, there's deer. But I don't know if I can get to them now. But yeah, we see deer all the time. But I still like seeing deer. Yeah. And, yeah, I can't see him. There was a deer standing there, but uh, I don't... there's oh, there's a, like a herd of them. Yeah, what? you can't see them on the camera, but they're out there. Oh, they're going yeah. through the woods now, guys. You there's can't see them, them. They're going through the woods. But yeah, um, anyhow, maybe we'll try to do a video. We can get closer to deer, so people that don't see deer all the time can see them. But I still like seeing deer. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Well, um, I'm not sure how long this has been, but. Um, we're gonna cut this video right here. Uh, so, thank you for watching and subscribe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Um, have a nice day and God bless. I was gonna say a few more things, but um, I guess I'll cover that in a different video. So, have a nice day, guys, and God bless.